Calabaca is one of the places I visited that keeps the food culture alive and respects the tradition. As a visitor, you can find many places where you can enjoy good traditional food and friendly service. In this episode, I'll take you to the three restaurants I visited a while I was in Calabaca and a winery that produces very good wines. This is also the last episode of the Calabaca Meteora trip. If you haven't seen the first two, I'll have the links to the episodes in the descriptions below. I owe the success of my trip in Calabaca to Mr. Spiro Nicologiani, tourism and finance advisor to the mayor of the municipality of Meteora, for his guidance, help and hospitality. I stayed in a nice little hotel on the main street of Calabaca called Hotel Alexiu. Sotiris Alexiu is also the owner of Valia Calda restaurant, meaning the warm valley within a short walk from the hotel. It is beautifully decorated with local artifacts and a menu that offers local traditional as well as ancient Greek dishes. All this cooked by two lady chefs with love and pride. The first dish was cooked by Tula Lechu, meatballs in sauce. And here is how she did it. First, she mixes the ground beef with parsley, salt and pepper, breadcrumbs and onions. She shapes and flours the patties and fries them in hot olive oil. In another pan, she cooks flour with olive oil. Add some garlic, add some tomato paste, some vegetable stock and pork. Transfers the fried kefteris in the thick sauce. Quick, simple and delicious. Tiganya is one of the regional dishes you'll find in Ipiros. Tula cooked the tiganya with local black hog meat and hand-picked mushrooms, one of the ingredients you will find in abundance in the surrounding area. She cooks the black hog pieces in olive oil and when the meat is cooked she adds the mushrooms. Some salt and pepper Sweet paprika White wine And finally some cumin Served with fries. Of course, not one local menu is complete without a pita. Elefteria was rolling her filo dough for an amazing spinach and bulgur pita, one of the many vegan and vegetarian dishes in the menu. 
His speed and technique is to be admired. She folds each filo in a unique way and you'll see why in a few seconds. Fills three layers of spinach and bulgur. Filo, filo, di base. and uses the filo she folded to cover each layer. Olive oil in each filo inside the pie and water for the top filo. Folds the side in and scores the pie to portions. A little further up the main road, you'll find Yama's restaurant with Lady Chef Kiki Daskalu in charge of the kitchen cooking traditional comfort food. One of his specialty is biftekia with helopitis. Ready to make biftekia with helopitis. First, she will put the onion in the food processor. together with the parsley. She adds an egg and process again. Empty the mix in with the ground beef, mint from Thessaly, local oregano and vinegar from Mateo. A few spoonfuls of breadcrumbs and mix all ingredients together. Make the meat patties in the preferred shape. And this is the one she prefers. Flour the patties. and fry them in olive oil to give them a nice brown color on both sides. For the sauce, she cooks the onion in olive oil adds a good amount of tomato paste some crushed tomato a cinnamon stick and a bay leaf boiling water and let it simmer for 5 minutes transfer the sauce to a deep cooking pan she adds the hilopita pasta and places on top the meat patties. Last in the preheated oven. Beef tekia with yellow pitis. Beef meat patties cooked in sauce and served with locally made pasta. Nevertheless, our table was filled with other dishes as well, one of them the incredible moussaka.
Last was a lovely group visit to a traditional grill restaurant called Arados, mean the passage. Together with my new friend Spiro and the mayor of Calabaca, Aleko Theodoros. <laughs> Είναι ένα χωριό που ανήκει στο Δήμο Μετεώρων πρώην Δήμο Χασίων. Αποτελείται από περίπου μόνιμους κατοίκους 100. Η ενασχόληση των χωριανών μας και του... της περιοχής είναι βασικά με την κοινοτροφία και τη γεωργία και με την ξύλιση του δάσους. Η περιοχή είναι, όπως λένε τα άλλα μικρά μετέωρα, θα μπορούσε κάλλιστα ο επισκέπτης να αφιερώσει τουλάχιστον τρεις με τέσσερις ώρες στο χωριό μας, να απολαύσει τις γεύσεις εδώ των τοπικών προϊόντων και της ταβέρνας και στην περιοχή όλοι. Θα θέλαμε να μας επισκεφτείτε και θα είμαστε πανέτοιμοι να σας εξυπηρετήσουμε σε οτιδήποτε. The lady chef and part owner of the restaurant Vula Chiara had prepared so many local dishes for us to eat. Είναι εδώ τις περιοχές οι πατάτες και νομίζω είναι και πολύ... Ωραίες νόστιμες και έχουμε και πολύ ωραίο χρώμα. Η πιτούλα μας επίσης έχει χόρτα από τον κήπο μας. Έχει σπανάκι, έχει λάπατο, έχει μαϊντανό μέσα, έχει άνηθο και πολύ ωραίο τυράκι της περιοχής μας, εδώ από τα μέρη τα δικά μας. Τα γεμιστά τα οποία είναι ένα πιάτο που σερβίρεται Παρασκευή και Τετάρτη. Συνήθως τα ζητάνε νηστίσιμο φαγητό. Κρασομεζές θα μπορούσα να το πω. Έχει μέσα ψιλοκομμένη μελιτζάνα, έχει ε, κρεμμυδάκι και σκόρδο και μαϊντανό φρέσκο επίσης από τον κήπο μας. Η χωριάτικη, η οποία είναι σήμα κατά τεθένη για την Ελλάδα μας. Η πατατοσαλάτα μας, η οποία και αυτή έχει μέσα ψιλοκομμένο καροτάκι. Έχει κόκκινη πιπεριά, έχει κρεμμυδάκι, έχει μαϊντανό, έχει πράσο και φρέσκο κρεμμυδάκι, έτσι. Οι πιπεριές επίσης είπαμε με σέλινο το σκόρδο και έχει ντοματίνι, τα οποία και αυτά βγαίνουν από τον κήπο μας και βγαίνουν μεγαλύτερα και τα κόβουμε έτσι. Και τα κρέατα στο τέλος, τα οποία είναι από εδώ, από την περιοχή. Έχει πανσετούλα, έχει λουκάνικο παραδοσιακό, έχει μπιφτέκι το οποίο φτιάχνω μόνη μου, έχει ένα ανάμεικτο το μπιφτεκάκι, φρέσκο παϊδάκι μανάρι και παϊδάκι πρόβιο. Πιο βαρύ σαν κρέα, λίγο πιο σκληρό σαν κρέα, αλλά πολύ πιο νόστιμο από όλα τα υπόλοιπα. A beautiful restaurant on the quaint little village full of warm, hospitable people. Driving a little out of town, we visited Lyaku Winery. The family vineyard produces a selection of excellent wines in their own unique way. The son Vasilis Lyaku will tell us about the wines. My name is uh, Vasilis Lyakos. Welcome to Lyaku Winery. Uh, we started in uh, 2006 the business, small winery. Uh, it's a winery that uh, is, we have tradition uh, since uh, 1980s from my grandfather. Uh, we knew the, the craftsmanship actually, how to do the wine. It was a house wine back then, only that, without any bottles and labels. In 2006, uh, my parents decided to build uh, this winery. Uh, so we have uh, 20, we planted 20 hectares of vineyards, uh, mainly French and afterwards we planted some Greek uh, varieties also. Uh, right now we do blends of those two and Pinotage. We're focusing mainly on Greek varieties right now. Here the uh, area is um, very unique. The climate is uh, very different, like it, the microclimate of the area. We have a small creek that passes near the winery. We have uh, a lot of hills that uh, surrounds the winery, so it creates uh, a small valley, if you can say so. That helps uh, the grapes to mature uh, smoothly and uh, to have a well-balanced uh, result at the end of the season, the start of the harvest. So as I said, 20 hectares of vineyards, they are spread in 3 kilometers perimeter around the winery. Uh, the first thing that we have to do during the harvest, as it starts, in 15th of August, uh, first we harvest the white grapes, uh, we bring them here. Uh, we want to avoid long transportation, that's why the three kilometers perimeter of the winery. We bring the grapes here, we, put the, we place them in the refrigerator that we have in the semi-floor, 
So we keep the grapes inside for one night to be cold enough uh, because we want to break a little bit the grape in the middle. We don't want to squeeze it too hard during the distem phase with the crushing machine. So the next morning uh, we crush the grapes, uh, we break them a little bit in the middle, not squeeze them too hard. Uh, with the natural gravity uh, we take profit of it and uh, the mast drops naturally in the tanks. We don't use any equipment to push the mast and force it inside the tank. In that way you lose in aromas and taste and in quality in general. Uh, we do cryo-extraction maceration, so the tank is already frozen. Uh, with this uh, technique we take, we absorb everything from the skin as uh, during those six hours that uh, we do this cryo-extraction maceration. Immediately after we separate the skin from the juice. So we take the juice to another tank and we open carefully the door and smoothly we uh, take the skin out, we push the skin out to a big machine that has a giant balloon inside. So it, this is the pressing machine that presses uh, with 500 bars almost, uh, the skin of the grape to take out all the juice, uh, like 20% uh, of the juice that usually uh, skin of a grape has. And uh, all the aromas, the phenols that color the grape, the wine also, excuse me, uh, like the, uh, the stronger acidity for instance for the white wine uh, and all the aromas that usually the skin has. So imagine that the flesh of the grape is 85% water, so everything we take is from the skin, so we have to work with the skin a lot. Uh, the leftovers from this uh, phase of production uh, of winemaking, uh, we use them as a fertilizer because this uh, skin is like uh, so thin like a leaf of paper, you cannot use it uh, differently. So we use them, we drop all this skin back to the vineyards as a fertilizer, uh, just to revive a little bit the ground, as it's uh, norm usually do. Uh, and uh, all the leftovers from the whole production, yeah, we distill them and we make chipuro. So chipuro is like a local uh, grappa. Uh, we also have a cellar uh, that we uh, placed uh, French oak barrels uh, to mature the wine uh, for uh, one or two years. Also, we do wine tastings uh, here, uh, where I am actually right now. Uh, beautiful bar uh, that is uh, has a traditional uh, uh, inspiration and uh, we can have uh, 50 up to 50 people to do a beautiful wine tasting uh, which contains uh, our wines uh, paired with local cheese and traditional products I could easily spend more days in this friendly town but my journey must go on if you want to visit these places and see them in real life, follow the link in the description below. Savor Greece and the Travel Factory will make your wish possible.